Um, I grew up in Mexico till I was 12. That's when I was brought up to the United States. Um, and I started going to um, middle school. I went to the seventh grade. It was tough. I didn't know English. So Bertha came to us kind of starting out uh, a little bit unsure of herself and what she wanted to do. Um, and I just watched as she kind of grew into a student that was much more confident in uh, the goals that she had. I have four children. Four They're wonderful. Um, I'm, they, they complain that I'm too strict. Um, I'm just trying to be a good mom, you know, what I didn't have. You know. um, my parents were not there for me, and um, I'm just trying to be there for them. Um, and then I, I realized I had to do something. I, I needed a future for my children. I needed to, to become a, a role model. And she would go home and tell them, like, if I could do this, then you could do this. And so just instilling the confidence that she grew here into her children as well. Um, that was really fun to see. <laughs> yes. 15 years out of school, I was very apprehensive about going back to school. I, my biggest fear was not being able to learn anything after so many years out of school. Bertha is exceptional in the, the fact that she's a pioneer in her own way. She is the first person in her family to have graduated high school, and now obviously the first person in her family to have gone beyond that. Um, so she has the gumption. She has what she needs to, you know, go and grab what she wants and what's best for her and her kids. Um, but she wanted to dive in head first. She set goals for herself that exceeded the goals that we set for her. I've never had a student complain about Christmas break, but she complained about <laughs> Christmas break because she wanted to get more of her course material done. And I just want to do it all because I know I can because Southwest Tech made me believe that. 